visit this website, which is, sidestore.io. This is an open source software, for side loading apps, without jailbreak, or even computer after initial setup, but just your internet connection is required. To begin the installation process, click on get started button as shown. The first step is to download side server, iTunes, and iCloud. So first let's download side server. Click on download side server button to start the download. Next up, we must download the non-Microsoft Store version of iTunes. Do not use the link from this side store website, rather search for iTunes from Google, as shown on the video, as per your Windows version. Type exactly what I am typing, which is, iTunes for Windows, and the version number. On the search results page, click on this Apple official support page. Just download the iTunes, from this official Apple support website. While iTunes is getting downloaded, let's go back to Side Store website, and, lastly, just download iCloud, from the Side Store website. As you can see, files are getting downloaded. And, once all the three files are downloaded, launch File Manager, and navigate to the download folder. First extract the Side Server installer zip file. You will only need computer for the first time only. Once extracted, Inside the extracted folder, you will find, this setup, that, exe file, which we will run, after setting up iCloud, and iTunes. So let's run iTunes, exe file, as an administrator. Just install iTunes, like you usually do with any other softwares, and once iTunes is installed, go ahead, and launch it. Similarly, let's install iCloud, by running it as an administrator. If you are still with me, please subscribe to my channel and share this video among your friends. Once iCloud is installed, you are required to reboot your computer to apply the changes. Once computer boots up, launch iCloud, and, make sure to sign in without Apple ID, and password, do not use your main Apple account, rather use a burner account. Finally, click on apply, and minimize iCloud. Next, search for iTunes, and launch the same. Sign in, with your burner Apple account, and password. It's time to connect your iOS device to the computer using a cable. Once the device is detected, just click on this icon, as shown. On the next page, just scroll down, and make sure this option is enabled, which allows sync with iOS device, over Wi-Fi. Next, click on account. And then authorization. Enter same Apple ID, and password. And finally click on authorize iTunes setup is done, we can now minimize iTunes as well. Let's install and set up Side Store. Launch File Manager, and navigate to the Download folder, into the Side Server Installer folder. Now just double-click, to run the setup.exe file. After running the setup file, Side Store icon should appear here, in Taskbar tray. If it does not appear due to any reason, just right-click on the taskbar and go to taskbar settings. Now, scroll down and click on other system tray icons. When you find side store, just enable it as shown on the video. Now, let's run the setup file again. Let's run it as an administrator. Let's see if the icon will appear or not. It's a very common issue. As you can see, it still did not appear. Now to fix it search for side server as shown as you can see side server is listed under app section and click on open if you get this pop-up just click on ok right after that as you can see the side store icon has appeared finally now just click on install side store option here it will show your device in my case it's ipad so just click on your device to start the installation process you will see this message. Do not worry, though it says, Alt Store, but it's Side Store. Let me show you my iPad screen. As you can see, Side Store is successfully installed in my iOS device. Now we can disconnect the device from computer, as we no longer require computer ever. Launch Settings app, and navigate to General, then VPN, and Device Management, and finally verify, or trust the developer, as shown on the video. Also if you are on the latest iOS version, make sure that developer mode is turned on. To enable, just navigate to privacy, and security. Scroll down, and there you will find the developer mode. 
Now just go back and launch Site Store. This is how the app looks like. Next go to Settings and log in with your Burner Apple account and password. Use the same account which was used in computer. Now to remove the dependency of a computer, so that we never have to use a computer ever, ever again. We must install WireGuard VPN and related configuration files. To do that, launch Safari and visit the Side Store website. Once you are on the website, tap on Get Started. Tap on the third option, which says WireGuard VPN. Just tap on Download WireGuard VPN button, which will redirect to Apple App Store. Once the app is installed, just go back to the website and download WireGuard configuration file. Once the WireGuard configuration file is downloaded, it's time to load this file in the WireGuard VPN app. So to do that, launch the WireGuard app and tap on this plus icon and select create from file or archive, which is the first option. Now just locate that configuration file and tap on it. As you can see, the name of the config file is Side Store, which makes it easy to locate. One thing to note here is that, you must enable VPN, when side loading, or refreshing IPA files only. And the you can disable it. So let's enable it. So now that the VPN is enabled, let me show you how to side load IPA files, via Alt Store. Just go back to Alt Store, and go to my app sections. Next up, tap on the plus icon, and locate the desired IPA file. Here in this example, I will sideload Kaobunga app. Simply tap on the IPA file. And as you can see, the side loading process has started. And once done, it will appear in the app list. You can see that it's appearing on the home screen. And launching it, shows that it's working properly, without any error. But, these apps will stop working after 7 days. So make sure to refresh these apps every time, before 7 days mark. To refresh the apps, make sure to first turn on the WireGuard VPN, and then launch Alt Store. And then just tap on, Refresh All button. The refresh process will start, which will reset the days remaining, to again 7 days. So make sure to refresh it, before every 7 days. Time taken to refresh the app, depends on the size of the application. As you can see, now Side Store is getting refreshed. No need of any computer. All you need is stable internet connection and WireGuard VPN. And face no revokes ever. This is how we have successfully sideloaded IPA files and also refreshed them to prevent any revocation or expiration. If you want a sideloading solution without computer, watch my next videos.